Today is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving everyone. But this is what happens when you live in a windy city. Check this out. I'm worried about my little trees behind this. This is my neighbor's tree. Big evergreen. We had we had such a big uh, winds yesterday, 60, 70 miles an hour winds that uh, throughout the neighborhood a few trees went down. This is one of them. Look at that. Ripped it out right out of the ground. Crazy, isn't it? But it missed my tree by inches. Look at that. My baby. So it's a little bit smooshed. I'm gonna try to trim the edges really quick. Because my neighbor obviously my neighbor obviously can't get anybody out today to clean this up. Because it's Thanksgiving. But look, it landed right between this tree that I planted and my evergreen. Crazy, huh? Got very lucky. So, let me get to work. Well, I really don't know if I did any help, but cut all these branches off all the way around the tree. But I don't think it did help much. I mean, it did a little bit on top, uh, but the bottom the bottom's still pushing a little bit on the, on the branches. I don't think it's a big deal. The upper part is, is free, freed up at least, so. They say something's burning. <laughs> What's burning, honey? Oh, look at those pies. Hey, I contributed. I went to the store and picked up the crust. And you helped pour the liquid. I helped the pour. <laughs> Good job, honey. Thank you. Look at that, look at that. You guys are doing an amazing job. This time of the year, we set up the Christmas tree and get ready for a Chicago Beers and Detroit game. <laughs> Looking good. It smells good too. What is that, is that a toy? Is that a toy? You've been playing with it. So Ellen just brought me brought me this clock and we've been trying to figure out the price on it definitely vintage it says neon clock sales company chicago illinois looks like it's all original but obviously no plug we can't test it and we can't agree on a price right ellen that's right ellen ellen wants a thousand i want to pay a hundred <laughs> bucks we have no deal here but it's it's pretty cool i just wanted to put it on film now he's gonna try to sell it himself um, the way it sits oh look this is popping up here it needs a restoration for sure but it's pretty cool you don't see them very often so good luck to you man appreciate Thank you. appreciate bringing it in no problem Thanksgiving? Uh, I slept most of it away, but <laughs> my mom worked Thanksgiving, so we oh, yeah, that's right. dinner you did the earlier. Before. Yeah, I yeah. forgot. Yeah, you did the one earlier. Man, they're so cool just for display. You know? Yeah, exactly. Even if the guys are not not using them to use them, they're just very cool for display. Anyway, look what I just picked up, guys. This is insane. Four of them. I usually get one, maybe two in a set. But four. Well, these are Technics 1200s. These two are MK2s. Very good condition. And these are 1200s M3Ds. They, the main difference is that reset button really on them. Uh, overall, pretty good shape. The boxes are a little rough. They've been sitting in somebody's storage. So they show a little bit of wear. But I only actually have three covers they came with uh, three covers and I don't know where they've been stored but they are warped they don't uh, they don't lay flat which is a problem because then you can't close the lid see how it, how it wobbles but it is what it is so and a Vestex mixer hey 
Always good to see you. Thanks for stopping by, Mark. Yeah, so wonderful pickup here. This one comes in a big, big DJ case. It's actually extremely heavy. And these are individual cases. So these two I might actually entertain to put online because they would be easy ship with those boxes. These are the covers for them. And they become very protected when you put them in. Uh, but these I'm gonna try to sell in shop. For everything that you guys see here, I paid uh, 500 bucks. So this was a good really pickup from a local picker that I've been dealing for the last 10 years. He bought a storage unit and this was in it. So I should be able, the way they sit, to get at least 400 bucks a pop out of them. It's a really nice pickup. Hopefully you guys can see everything that it's in this case. I just made a sale on a whole entire case. Everything that it's in here, I flipped it to the guy for a wonderful Black Friday price. So I got a couple boxes here and the gentleman who got everything in here, I sold it to him for 50 bucks. He was ecstatic. He said his grandson is like five or six years old. He says this is gonna be a wonderful project for them to do it together. So I'm very happy this is going to a good house and I got an empty case to fill up with new merchandise. Found something, Jay? Maybe. Maybe. It's interesting. Twenty-five dollars. It's a nice little action, right? So today, this was a pretty quick flip. I sold already one set of these Macintosh uh, speakers, and then I had few offers. Uh, the second set, I listed them actually, I did a little bit more research yesterday and I listed them for 150 the way they sit, you know, with those bad woofers. But this turns out to be actually pretty easy fix for a lot of the guys. It's all about the rest of the stuff and the cabinets. So the other ones I sold for 150 and these are also priced for 150 the cabinets are a little bit rougher on this set and they have some paint on this one so a couple guys offered me like 80 bucks there was one guy that offered me a hundred but I fortunately I think I'm gonna hold off for at least like 125 on these well just buy it John why you have to make everything complicated I'm not buying it if I don't know if it's any good and there's, no, like and there's no price on it anyway so I'll ask the kid S. Connie Hey, what do you think? He said four ninety nine. Bullshit, four ninety nine. Uh oh, is that coming out of your butt? Look out! Look, look, look. Oh, no, don't shoot it! Don't shoot it! Uh, 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 she's doing now. No, uh, she's trying, but she can't. You know, she can't stand up long enough. <laughs> what? Oh, what? Two minutes and should be out with the light. You are a softy for a kitty. I see you are a well, I've had cats and dogs for years, eh? Oh, and what? And you're. <laughs> you name a cat, honey? You're gonna talk to me? You're gonna talk shit to me? Are you out of your. I actually did a name her. That was her name in a shelter. We we kept the name. Yeah, look at her. She loves it. Purring her ass off. Yeah, well it's cold out. They they want to be warm. I can see. I was just thirty seconds off. She was out in a minute and a half. <laughs> Watch the tail. Watch what the yeah. tail does. That the tail starts swinging fast. Then you gotta let her go. What we got? Okay. So we've got salmon. salmon sashimi. Salmon sashimi. Two pieces of that. Nice. 
We got some tuna. Ooh, beautiful we got, tuna. We got two pieces of that. Um, is that all yeah. from the same market? Yeah, all. This is, I think, all bluefin. I think um, yellowfin. Yellowfin. We yeah. got some ibi just for, for ikas, just for fun. We got some hamachi. Hamachi. Yellow, nice. uh, tail. This is nice and, and fatty. The, yeah. The price comparison. Oh yeah. Right? Fourteen this, bucks. And now yeah. this one goes up a little bit more. Wow. This and is, for this piece is too. chitoro. This is your fatty tuna belly. Nice. So this uh, is now, really good. But look at this, 69.95 pounds. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Look at you, baby. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Are you the chef? They making they making me <laughs> roll this. All right, let's see it. Oh, All right. stop it. All right, so Crunch. dry hands, dry hands, dry hands, dry hands. All right. All right. So the first step, you want to take this, right? We can keep everything in. So you're just gonna guide your hands over it, and you're gonna go all the way to this top of this, right? This is gonna be a thick roll. <laughs> and so now, at this point, the the first, the you have two flaps, right? Mm -hmm. What this part has now touched the rice mm -hmm. over there, right? And so now I'm gonna pull the bottom part, and I'm gonna pull it in a little bit just to tighten it up, oh, yeah, yeah. right? Squeeze it. Yeah. So now you got you keep it. Try and keep it pretty tight here, but not too tight. You don't want to get it like mm -hmm. squishy. Right, and then you move over one more while keeping the pressure, and you keep doing this a little bit more, and you pull a little bit more. So you kind of roll over it. Right? Yeah, and then you go one last step, and then you have your roll. Ah, nice. Yeah. I and say. Now, now I we get a nice sharp knife, chop. Yeah. And so now the thing is, you want this to be wet with f before every cut, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So it doesn't stick. So right? no sticky. Uh -huh. right? And it's harder than it looks. Oh, it's crispy still. <laughs> so every, every, every time, time you it needs to have nothing on it. Like it needs to be a clear knife. Don't cut yourself. Yeah, I just did, so you have to be careful. Right, so, so, so the left yeah. left over here needs to go yeah. right, right <laughs> here. You want some sauce? No soy sauce. <laughs> no soy sauce? Well, I can't wait, guys. Right, yeah. So, Let's rock and roll this because this yeah. is looking so good. Hmm. Get a plate, there. Actually, we'll leave it to Mama. To yeah. 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 Very close. So as my little workers are making magic over here. Making magic. Making magic. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go actually and start editing this video so you guys can see it what they're doing here. Appreciate everyone watching. Thank you so much. Till next time. Cheers.